First, there's the famous sea turtle, Aribata. That's Spanish for arrival. On just a few special nights, tens of thousands of all of Ridley's sea turtles come ashore to lay their eggs. And then there's the jaguars. They come out of the forest to prey on the sea turtles. These big cats are extremely elusive and avoid humans at all costs. So I decided to set up trap cameras throughout Nancite. I have these all over the woods just to be able to see jaguars doing things that people haven't seen jaguars do before. And what I got blew me away. This beautiful cat is named Amanda. She's the first jaguar I've ever documented, feeding on a turtle out in Nancite. This is a unique predator-prey relationship happening on a beach around two miles long. But if I'm gonna tell this story, I need the help of a local expert. I team up with a biologist named Luis Fonseca, who's been studying the relationship between sea turtles and jaguars out in Nancite. Ooh, very, very good. He spots something even more unusual on our camera traps. Two different puma yeah. come to eat to the sea turtle. Two you... different uh, males, puma. This time around from yeah, the footage yeah, yeah. that we captured? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. So you're saying that, just so I can wrap my brain around this, that a jaguar killed and then two separate pumas came back on it. So you've got two different species of big cats, three different big cats on one kill. Is that normal? Mm, no, but in Nancite, it's possible. <laughs> yeah. I'm recording in... Nancite is not normal, no, so no. I guess that makes sense. It's wild to think that in the span of 12 hours, a jaguar and two pumas fed on one sea turtle. But that's the kind of place this is. Adding to Nancite's mystique are some legendary personalities. 